Hey guys, what's up? It's Ops here. Sorry for the long wait um, for another video. I've just been so busy. Um, like, as I told you guys, Brady passed away. My mom broke her foot or fractured her foot in three places and it just healed up a little bit. And um, I've been sick and achy in my own worst respect. But I'm slowly getting better. <laughs> um, so here we go. So this video is a movie review, review on one of my favorite movie musicals, Hairspray. And I'm talking about the one from 2007, the one with John Travolta, Michelle Pfeiffer, Christopher Walken, Amanda Bynes, Queen Latifah, Zac Efron, Elijah Kelly, James Morrison, Brittany Stone, and at the time, newcomer Nikki Blonsky. Okay. So let me tell you about this movie and a little bit how I found out about it. Years before this one came out, I watched the original Hairspray, which there is another movie by the same name. It just does not, it's not the same, it's kind of like the same premise, but it doesn't have as much music as in this one. Um, so I thought it was overall good, but if I definitely had to pick which one I'd rather watch, it would be this one, 100%. Um, And I know more people in this one than the other ones, so yeah. The only people I really know in the original are um, Ricky Lake, who is an amazing, a amazing actress. She actually had a, a cameo in this one, um, but I'll tell you more about that later. Um, then Divine was in it, which. Divine was a drag queen, um, I believe, and I believe Ursula from the Little, Mer Little Mermaid was, um, a little based off Divine, or Divine, however you say it, um, who else was in the original? Oh, um, Jerry Stiller, Ben Stiller's dad. Jerry Stiller also has a special little part in this one, but I'll tell you more about that later. Um... Blondie was in the original. If you guys know the singer Blondie, I forget her real name at the moment, but she's by, like, in the movie, she goes by her real name, but everybody knows her as Blondie, um, so that's why I'm saying Debbie Harry, that's her name. Debbie Harry or Blondie, whatever you guys like to call her, um, she's in that, and that's all I know from the original. If you guys know of anybody else who, uh, na whose name I might know, feel free to tell me. Um, yeah. Um, uh, okay, now on to this movie. This movie came out in, like, 2007. Um, late 2007, or, like, mid-2007. The first time I went to see it, I saw it in theaters with my mom. And maybe my brother, I can't remember. But I was obsessed with this movie um, just because of all the people in it that I knew. I know, so before the movie, I knew John Travolta from Grease. Obviously, Grease is one of my favorite, is one of my other favorite musicals. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer, I knew just because I did see Grease 2 once in my life. Not my, not one of my favorites. Um, even Michelle Pfeiffer says it wasn't a good movie, so I'm sorry if that's one of your favorite movies. <laughs> Christopher Walken, I knew his name, I just didn't know enough about him. Amanda Bynes, I grew up watching her as a kid, so of course I was like, oh yeah, seen seen all of her other movies. Queen Latifah, of course I've heard of her, I just didn't know that too much about her. Zac Afron is one of my bays. Um, of course, this was a year after the first High School Musical came out, so I mean that was just kind of like a given. Had to go see it. Um, Elijah Kelly didn't really know who he was. Never heard of him until this movie. I just saw him a few year, um, months ago on Celebrity Family Feud, and he looked so different. But I mean that's the point. I mean this is a movie set in the '60s, so I mean of course he's gonna look different after years. Um, James Martison, never really heard of him until this movie, but then, um, I also saw him in the movie Enchanted. Um, Brittany Snow, I love, and still do, um, 
I love and loved Britney Snow. Um, she was awesome. The only thing that I saw her in before this, though, was um, an old show called American Dreams. Have you guys ever seen that show? It's something where you know her from. I also saw her in another movie. I just can't remember what it's called. Prom Night. I saw her in Prom Night. Not the smartest movie to watch. Uh, um, but whatever. And then newcomer, of course, Nikki Blonsky was a newcomer in the movie. Um, and I saw her in just a few other things. I just can't remember what they're called. Um, yeah, so overall what I thought of the movie. I thought it was great. Um, it's definitely a full star-studded musical. Um, I saw it in theaters twice, which usually doesn't happen. I saw it once with my mom. And I saw it another time with my friend, and this was like the second time we were both seeing it. And so we started seeing it in the theater, and the guy behind us told us to shush. <laughs> so we're like sitting in this room, he's sitting behind us, and he goes, shh. And we both like laugh. Um, so yeah, I saw it in theaters twice, and then of course I had to get on DVD. Um, my favorite character is probably Amber. Um, don't ask me why. I like like all like the mean or evil characters in movies. It never changes. I mean, if you ask me who my favorite character in High School Musical was, I would obviously say Sharpay and stuff like that. So like, that just kind of like does it. I mean, I think it's because the character is so different from me that I think if I was ever to do a play or a musical, um, I would love to play one of those characters because I think it would be so fun to work. Sometimes with an evil character, there's so much you can put in with the, with, like, the evil character. Um, you can just put so much into an evil character. Um, my favorite song from Hairspray is either New Girl in Town, Lady's Choice, Mama, welcome to the 60s, or you can't stop the beat. It's a tie between all of those. Um, oh, Miss Balt Baltimore Crab is pretty fun, too. Um, okay, so the cameos in this movie. So, Ricky Lake, who played the original Tracy Turnblad in the original movie, has a cameo. If you go to the scene where they're having the pageant or the Miss Teenage Hairspray thing, um, and Mrs. Von Tussel is showing the agents to their seats. Ricky Lake is the woman one. That has basically kind of like the same hairstyle as Tracy's mother or Tracy even. Um, and then Jerry Stiller, who is Ben Stiller's father in real life, was in the original Hairspray as a father, but in this one, he is... Mr. Pinky, who owns the dress shop. So, those are the only cameos I know of. If there are any other cameos that you guys know of, um, please let me know. That would be awesome to find out. Um, was there anything I was surprised by in the movie? Um, not really. I mean... In this movie, Tracy shows up to the pageant with straight hair, and nobody knows how that happens in this one. But if you watch the original, in the original, she was actually put in jail for a short time, and they flat ironed her hair. I mean, they literally flat ironed her hair, like with a, an iron, like a ironing, like when you iron clothes with. Um, and then. The style in this movie, like some of the styles I absolutely love. Like I used to like act out movies all the time when I was younger and I did um, Amber once. Um, and I had this dress that would have been perfect for the 60s and I wore it while playing Amber. Um, which was like stupid as a kid that I used to act out. I still do it. Who am I kidding? I still freaking do it. I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, but um, 
I just had to dress how it would be perfect. And then um, when the movie came out, I kept saying I wanted to be Amber for Halloween, and I would have my grandmother make me a dress, but that never came to truth. Uh, <laughs> let's just be honest. I wanted it because I loved the dress, too. Um, okay. So, yeah, this movie is about a girl who is on the heavy set side who wants to be on her favorite show, The Corny Collins Show, a.k.a. The Nicest Kids in Town. But because she is heavy set, um, she, people think it's far fetched. Um, her mother, um, and then they have an audition coming up because one of the girls got pregnant accidentally. Um, it's never really said that she's pregnant, but you can guess by the details, but that she was pregnant. Um, and, um, they have auditions to fill in that spot, and Tracy goes to the audition, but of course, Mrs. Von Tessel is the one that makes the decision at that audition, and they make some pretty rude comments about not only Tracy, but all the girls who went to go try out for the spot. Um, but then, Tracy lands in detention because she skipped class to go to this audition, and she was dancing with the kids in detention, who are all coincidentally um, of color, which there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, um, I would never be that person who would insult somebody that way, but in for the premise of the movie, um, it was all colored kids, um, and Tracy was... And Tracy was probably the only white girl in there, or white kid at the time. Um, but then Link barges in and sees her smack her butt, which was my favorite scene in the movie because it's so hilarious. Um, and says, if Corny saw you dancing like that, he probably put you in the show. And so she went to the dance and did everything and made it on the show by Corny's suggestion against the wishes of Mrs. Von Tussel, who is the station manager and the manager of the show or whatever. Um, so yeah, and then you're just going to watch the movie to find out what happens at the end. Um, rating for this movie, a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of famous faces in it. Um, if you guys have never seen Grease 1 or 2, watch both of them, even though the second one's not the best, but to understand this joke that I'm about to make, you have to watch both of them. John Travolta was in the first Grease, Michelle Pfeiffer was in the second Grease, and in the end number, John Travolta goes like this to Mrs. Von Tessel or Mrs. Turnblad, and I always make a joke to my mom saying, I bet that's John Travolta saying to Michelle Pfeiffer that his grease was better than hers, and it's just a joke. No means necessary is John better than Michelle, or Michelle is better than John, I'm sure they're both great people, but it's just a joke I love to make. Um, so yeah, this movie is super well too to understand exactly what segregation is and was like, um, I mean, Segregation is one of the worst things in history, I think, that ever happened, and it's still happening to some people today, and it's terrible to know that that's happening, and to know that it once was a big, big thing, and this movie is definitely a representation of what could happen if it ever happens again, and what did happen back then. Um, so if you guys like Hairspray, comment down below in the comments, and if you guys seen both of them, the original and this one, which one do you like better? Because I'd like to know what you think about both movies. Alright, so I hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, bye.